And it, I mean, it's a real simple, no BS approach to real estate. You know, it's like, let's focus on just two or three things that matter. Don't worry about the rest and let's get out there and help people on a large scale. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. You, you've built now this reputation around your business, your brand. And what do you think like you can actually attribute to building, you know, what the Ricky Carruth brand is today? Because I'll tell you this, from what I know, it's like, it was the cold calling, it was the free uh, real estate advice. And the, the one thing that I, I really admire about your content is the consistency. So mm -hmm. like, how, how did you like shift from, okay, we were transactional first, but now it's like, let's deliver value on a continuous basis and build relationships in the meantime. How did that work out for you? Well, I had to, uh, I had to flip that in my real estate business, right? So when I lost everything, I had to go from transactions to relationships in my real estate business. You know what I mean? I had to, I had to flip my strategy from trying to get deals to just trying to get to know people and see what I could do to help them. Right. Right. So through that process, I ended up becoming one of the top agents in the nation. And now I'm just still crushing it because of the way that I structured the business and the strategy I had behind not transactions, but relationships. So when I got into the coaching business, you know, like I, I made it, lost it, came back, took six years to get back to the top. Then I sold a hundred properties a year for three years before I tried to write a book. Most coaches are you know, they've been in real estate for a year and a half. They sold 12 properties and now they're selling $500 courses, you know? And um, so you got to look at like where you're getting advice from, you know, lost, made it, lost it, made it back, then kept it for three years before I decided, okay, I think I want to share something with people. Yeah. So when I wrote the books and I started uh, coaching, I was charging it first. Right, I was charging at first, uh, you know, whatever, twenty bucks a month, thousand dollar one time fee, one hundred fifty a month. Like I tried a bunch of different things, and nothing really worked with that. You know, I mean, nothing really just like caught on fire. It was just not working. And uh, at some point, it's kind of the same revelation that I had with real estate. Like with real estate, I had to lose it all to realize, okay, I got to go with relationships over transactions. So in the coaching business, I went through the same cycle. I just figured it out a lot quicker. Within about a year, it took me about a year, I want to say. Um, within about a year, I realized I need to go free. And so I, I, I again switched my strategy from the money to the relationship because I knew if I was free, it would open up the floodgates and I would get to know every real estate agent on earth. You know, before long, I'll know every real estate agent on earth because I'm free. Whereas if I was a paid coach, there's no way I'm going to get to that level because most people are going to see that gate of money and they're going to turn right around and run the other way. Um, so I had like, I had about 200 paying students at the time and I was making about 10,000 a month residual income. And I woke up one morning and I realized that I wasn't running my coaching business the way that I'm coaching my agents to run the real estate business. I'm telling them it's all about the relationship and here I am charging them 20 bucks, 100 bucks, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh -huh. And so it was like complete backwards of what I was trying to, the message I'm giving, it was like a contradiction. And so I, I went to all those 200 paying agents and I said, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start you know, hey guys, I got an announcement. Um, you know, everything you guys have been paying for, I'm gonna actually start giving that to the world for free. And guess what? I'm gonna make it even better than it was. So everything you guys have been paying for, now everybody else gets for free. How do you like that? You know, and I thought I'd get a lot of backlash, <laughs> but but they not a single one of them asked for money back. That's how much value I brought them. They didn't even yeah, care. They respected it. Yeah, they didn't even pay for it. I explained to them why I was doing it. It was like to change the world and make the industry a better place and reduce the failure rate. And like, this was the only way I was, because I would, I would have a webinar and I would have 300 people sign up, a hundred of them show up and one or two people sign up. And I was like, those numbers are, those numbers are horrible. It's like 300 people wanted help. A hundred of them really wanted help. They were willing to put the time in but only, a hundred, only one or two actually took action. And so that told me something right there. And what I realized was that people that need coaching, that need coaching are broke. That's that They need coaching because they're broke. Yeah. Like they can't afford coaching because yeah. 
they're broke because they need coaching. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So like the coaching industry is like, let's charge broke agents. You know, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. It's complete bad. The industry, the real estate coaching industry is so backwards from what it needs to be. Um, and so that was another, I did everything I looked at. It was like, I got to go free if I really want to make a difference. You know what I mean? So ever since that, then man, it's been insane. You know, I've had 50 to a hundred agents a day sign up for the coaching ever since I did that. Um, we're over 32 to something thousand right now in the coaching program. Thousands of agents have doubled and tripled their income, you know, through the free program. And um, it just continues to uh, to kind of reshape the industry and hopefully make it a better place long term, you know, where agents are valuing people over transactions and Absolutely. putting the hard work they need to behind it. I mean, it's a real simple, no BS approach to real estate. You know, it's like, let's focus on just two or three things that matter. Don't worry about the rest and let's get out there and help people on a large scale.